Are you coming to shore dive on air? Do you plan on diving Margaret Bay? Would you like some tips, tricks, and information to make your experience easier and more enjoyable? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video, and we're doing it right now. Hey guys, Kevin here again with another shore diving site for you. Right now I'm at Margaret Bay on the southern end of Bonaire. This is the first marked dive site uh, once you pass the first set of slave huts, which are white slave, here in the southern end of Bonaire. Uh, Liz and I are here. We're going to tell you all about this dive site. Uh, if you're not familiar with us though, and, and our channel, uh, my wife Liz and I, we love to travel, especially to sunny tropical locations where we can scuba dive. We've got a particular passion for the island of Bonaire and the freedom the shore diving here allows. This is another in our series of videos about the different shore dive sites here. In these videos, we tell you everything about the site. We'll cover the site in the water and out of the water. We're gonna show you the best place to enter the water, the best place to exit the water, give you some navigational tips, and a lot of other fun information. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, we'd love to have you join our community. So how about subscribing to our channel? Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be made aware when we have new content for you to enjoy. But right now, it's all about Margaret Bay. Margaret Bay, this is the favorite site of my friends Rance and Freddie. And if that's not enough reason for you to come dive this site, how about lush Gorgonians intertwined with tons of sponges, turtles, and of course, the namesake of this dive site, schools of black Margaret. You may also see some eagle rays here. I typically see eagle rays here, mainly because of the, the location. It's here right past White Slave where there's a bend in the island you come down to this area that's somewhat of a large sweeping bay where the kiteboarders are usually um, kiteboarding a little further south. Uh, very calm conditions typically exist in this area. I'm not saying you'll never see waves here, but particularly uh, for the most part, very calm conditions. So I really think you're gonna love this dive site. I'm gonna show you around the, the top side here and then we'll take a look at that entry. Hey folks, we're actually coming to you from the future. I know I said we were about to talk about the overview of the site, but actually Liz and I just finished a dive and had such a great dive, we wanted to hop back in to give you more reasons why you need to dive Margaret Bay. And let me tell you, the site is much more lush than I recall. Uh, it's kind of a mix between the northern sites and the southern sites. It's just packed full of dense, soft coral. It's not quite like Yellow Hut, but the sea whips and the sea fans a lot more than I recall. The sponges are beautiful, uh, big giant tube sponges as well, elephant ear, nice orange sponges. It's just absolutely beautiful. Lots of schooling fish today, so great dive. We had zero current, which was nice. Can't guarantee you that every time, but Liz, I know you liked it. What did, what did you want to add? I just really liked the wall. I thought there was just a ton of sea life to see there. We saw a huge turtle. We saw some puffer fish. Uh, there are lots of little nooks and crannies so that if you've got a flashlight, put those to good use. You can find lots of little creatures hiding there. And the shallows I really liked a lot. Uh, there was some good fire coral. There was some good staghorn coral and some alcorn coral um, and tons of sea life around there. Lots of little things to see. So it was just a really exciting dive. Now we're going to jump back into the video. And here we are top side at Margaret Bay. Uh, this is one where you'll just have to park on the side of the road here. You're not going to be able to pull up to shore and I'll show you why in just a second. But ample parking. It is a popular spot. We're fortunate enough to have it to ourselves right now, which oftentimes you might find there are other folks here. Uh, Liz is just waiting to get in. She can't wait. She's chomping at the bit. But the reason you can't pull all the way to shore is right behind these rocks. Unfortunately, we have rocks blocking it now. There used to not be rocks here. You can see a little bit of water right here where we're walking towards. When the tide's a little higher, this actually fills up pretty good and it's like a little lake. And you're just gonna have to walk through it to get over to where you can see the shoreline. Now keep that in mind though. If you have mobility issues, you do need to watch out for rocks as you're walking through here. When this area is full of water, and this water will come up. You can see where the mangoes, mangroves are growing. The water will fill this entire area. So if you've got mobility issues, you may want to consider another site. It's really not tough walking through here, but when the water potentially is ankle deep, it is somewhat of a slow slog 
to get all the way to shore. Uh, in this area where you can see the, the green mossy type algae, it can get slick there. I would ask though, and all the other uh, folks who dive here would ask that, just walk straight through the middle. You can kind of see where we've got some additional mangroves growing uh, on either side. Don't walk through that area, it may look drier, but let's give those plants a chance to grow. We're going to walk up to the shore here shortly and Liz is going to demonstrate how to get in. And so we'll do that in just a second. You'll see this nice yellow entry exit rock and then the path that's bordered by these rocks here leading down to the other yellow rock that's going to show you the place to enter. So just follow this path. Those yellow rocks should be here each time you're here. Follow those. Hang a left at that next yellow one and you can see the break in the water over there. And we're going to go check that out. Okay, here comes Liz to show us the shore dive entry here at Margaret Bay. Pretty flat. Seems like there's not much to worry about, but there are some rocks in this area you could slip on. It's good to have that walking stick that she's using, especially when you get to this area. You're going to enter to the right of this rock formation. But you can see, I'll come up behind her here and show you the water. You've got these little valleys within the substrate you can walk through. Not much of a step down. But be careful, that's slick in there, it is uneven, uneven rather. You can see Liz taking her time because the footing is not very sure footing. It's uneven, there are some rocks there. Once you get about to where she is, it looks like it's smooth sailing, but just past her, they're gonna be a, there's another area of rocks that you need to worry about. Nothing too severe. The way we dive this site, this is one where you can swim out to the mooring or equal to the mooring, drop down, descend, find yourself a good navigational marker. Of course, take that compass heading before you descend so you can come back to this exit spot. If you miss the exit spot, this is not a dive site where you have to be spot on. Anywhere around here, you can get out. There's just a step up for this substrate area. Fairly straightforward dive site. I think you're gonna love it. Something else I failed to mention earlier, this is a great snorkel spot. So if you, if you have snorkelers with you, this is a site you should come because they can snorkel while you dive. Well folks, that's just about gonna do it here for Margaret Bay. So what did you think? Did you like the video? How about giving us a thumbs up? What was most helpful about this video? Let us know down below in the comments. Is there other information you'd like to have about this dive site? Let us know in the comments as well. We really do hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you watching, Liz does too, but right now she's ready to get in the water. So I need to gear up, get in, and we'll see you at the next dive site.